Hi, intrepid viewers, beloved possums. It's Dr. Lena, sociologist, coming to you from Australia. What a week. I think the Yeti is scrambling for new lows in public behaviour. You know, if he wasn't the presidential candidate, he would actually be reported for roaming around, saying and doing the things he does, and he would be picked up as a public menace. I mean, will we ever forget the conversation about Arnold Palmer's schlong, like we were treated to that, can't get it out of the brain? Ooh. But there were so many others. Like he was asked about uh, climate change and he mumbled and raved about water and sand, sand and water. You know, the man is not well. He was asked about social security going forward into the future. And he said, they, don't you love the nebulous they? You know, they're going into shops. They're coming out with refrigerators on their backs and air conditioners. What is he talking about? And I think it's being exposed now because he's got away for nine years without being properly interviewed. You know, he's had softball exercises with Fox Propaganda Network and stuff, but he's not used to actually being questioned, so it's becoming more apparent. But I think the highlight had to be this man, remember the rally where there was a complication, it was delayed, and he was swaying for 30 minutes. Someone has to break the news to the Yeti. The village people are gay icons, pet. Someone has to tell him. I said, love. I said, darling. Oh, my God. Anyway, away we go now. Elon the muskrat, who again is completely shameless, and I would say a little bit desperate in his own way too, he has gone all in with the trumpet. Okay, and no mega tycoon wants to be seen as backing a loser. So I think he's a bit twitchy. What's his reflex? You throw money at it. And he's offering a million dollars a day. Ah. Oh. I don't know what to say. It's mind-bending. Now, it's illegal to try and induce votes by bribing people. Where is Merrick Garland? Asleep at the wheel. Where is the Federal Election Commission? They probably disbanded four years ago or ten years ago. No one would know because they do nothing. Arrgh. So I digress. If you're a new viewer, get used to the digressions. Um... So the, the governor of Pennsylvania wants to push this forward, saying it is actually a federal crime. So let's have a look. Will the muskrat face any legal repercussions or will he skate? What's happening here? These people get away with so much because officials are not doing their job. The media is not doing their job. You know, they're being aided and abetted. Focus, Lena, the muskrat. Legal repercussions from bribing the American heartland here with this million dollar a day crap to sign on to a PAC. Okay, let's have a look. Elon. Yes or no with Elon. He's out there, Knight of Pentacles. It'll be enormously popular, of course. What am I doing? I'm not seeing legal cards. Look, he's out and about making this announcement and it's going to be extremely popular. People are struggling for money. They're already rusted on and emotionally attached to the Yeti. Musk himself is a master manipulator, although his skills are diminishing too, it would appear. Anyone of high calibre leaves, just like the Trump administration. So he's now going to be dealing with second, third, 52nd, third employees. Manipulation, yes. Waiting. 
we are waiting. He is waiting. It's almost like he doesn't care. He's throwing the bait out. He's used to being untouchable. Love to be wrong. Love to be wrong. Not seeing a single legal card. Now, okay. While I'm shuffling, I will digress yet again. Bit of news. Oklahoma residents are suing a MAGA superintendent, Ryan Walters, who wants a Trump Bible, not just a Bible, a Trump Bible in every classroom. Um, this is a blatant fundraiser for the Yeti and these people will abase themselves in this fashion, you know. He could order them to lick the back of the fridge and they'd go, give me another fridge, I want a bigger one, you know. So repulsive. Um, other election shenanigans. A text message was sent to Wisconsin college students, a fake text message, saying, if you don't vote properly back in your home state, you can be liable for three and a half years jail. Fake message, Wisconsin apparently has a law they can vote where they're in college as well. They'll stop at nothing. They'll stop at nothing. So moving on. Now, J.D. Vance came out a couple of days ago and actually said complimentary things to Governor Kemp in Georgia He's doing a good job or something. Well, that's unleashed the MAGA faithful. Now J.D. Vance, again, he keeps doing this, is being called a rhino. So I'm, I'm going to look at MAGA's relationship with J.D. Vance because we all have to be grown-ups on this channel. It's inevitable the Yeti is going to fall over at some point that's not too far away. So we're looking at J.D. Vance. Um, backed, of course, by Peter Thiel, but his comments on Governor Kemp and the relationship with MAGA. Let's have a look here. MAGA and J.D. Vance. What do they think? It, this is extraordinary. They're all cards of mystery and miss and not knowing what's happening. Before I read these, I'm just reminded that there was an AI-generated video of Trump in North Carolina in the floodwaters up to his thighs saving people and puppies. I mean, vomit. I hope you've got a bucket ready if you see that footage because it's not real. Of course, he hasn't apparently even been to North Carolina for a while. But this is how deluded these people are. They're professionally deluded. Okay, what do they think about Vance? This is the hermit card in the sense of keeping things bottled up. They don't want anyone to disturb their fantasy father figure. Okay. Queen of Cups. Look at Water, a lot of delusion around the Queen when she's aspected like this. The lid here is going is lifted off the cup. In other words, their emotions are flowing out. They don't like him. This is karmic for them. Huh. They put their lot in with Trump, which I still don't understand, okay? We know from the Midas touch because they've subscribed to pretending to be MAGA people and so they get all, he constantly asks them for money and then goes back and sits on his gold toilet seat. I don't understand. This is karmic for them. They will do their best to stab him in the back. Why? because they're under a collective psychosis, allegedly by me, just allegedly, entertainment purposes only. They are so deluded. Oh, my God. So that'll be a small sideline pleasure in the future, hopefully. Um, MAGA 
going for J.D. Vance. Oh, my God. Okay, now, um, DeSantis intervened this week in a TV st station airing um, a pro-choice ad. So he's being sued for that because as the governor, you can't actually or you're not supposed to say what television stations can put on air or not. There should be other bodies for that. But shameless. Okay, now we're going to get on to the transfer of power, which is the critical issue, obviously, with this. Before I do, just a serious note. In case... Um, you think, oh, because I'm Australian, everything Australian is fabulous and so on. I just want to bring this to your attention. I think it's shocking and deserves international conden condemnation, right? Now, we have six states and two territories, and the Northern Territory has a huge Indigenous population. The Northern Territory government this week has introduced a law that the age for criminal responsibility to be reduced from 18 to 10. Now, southern states and stuff have had these laws about minors for years, I mean southern states in the US, that have been shocking to us in Australia. It's like if an 11-year-old accidentally gets a loaded firearm out of the the car and accidentally shoots a sibling or something, they'll be tried as an adult in some states. It's just appalling. And it's happened here, admittedly, only in one territory, but not good enough. It contravenes international law. Just, just so you know, I'm not biased. Okay. So big question here, but I want to put a twist on it in the sense of the transfer of power we'll be looking at very closely, of course, as things go forward. But I also want to get a bigger picture in the sense, should Kamala win the popular vote, let's hope by 10 mil, um, more would be good, 10 mil, um, but the Electoral College intervenes or something else happens and other challenges and so forth, will the Dems get out in the street? Will you guys protest that? Should Kamala win the popular vote, what would the reaction be? Oops, what fell out? Oh, Queen of Wands, my Kamala card. My Kamala card. How cool is that? How cool is that? Yeah, you guys aren't going to take this lying down, should it happen, heaven forbid, um, which is why not going back too big to steal are the mantras. But look at this. Here she is. The family cards turned up. This is normally my card for fake Republican families. Um, but in this, this is its original interpretation, which is, happy families and a rainbow family. People will not be happy with this and being shunned. And look at this, the ray sword. You might be keyboard warriors. The birds indicate to me social media. It could be unprecedented. Let's hope and pray to all the gods that are relevant to you that it doesn't come to now, here's a related question. Let's be positive. When Kamala wins the popular vote by a massive margin, we also know there will be legal challenges and stuff. It's inevitable. Will we see Biden exercise any of his superpowers that he's been granted by the Supreme Court because they were talking about Trump, but he's the president, lest we forget. Biden has presidential immunity about just about everything. So let's have a look at that. That's fun. 
Will Biden, if need be, exercise his superpowers? Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? Okay, let's have a look. Oh, all right. We've got a few legal and government cards here. I'm pleased to see. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, yes. This is the legal stuff. And you can bet your bottom dollar the GOP is primed, you know, because none of the major players will say they'll accept the peaceful transfer of power. It will go down a legal route. But their job is almost impossible if she has a massive win. So, But to still be prepared for that. Government law and order, White House, hello. A sensible energy prevailing. This is Biden himself keeping calm. With the surprise news, and it could be surprise news, what do I think will happen? I think, page of wands, I think it could be that Kamala as vice president will be called upon to certify the vote or something despite legal challenges or something, something. I think he will bring her into that picture if it comes to that. And let's hope it doesn't. So two weeks to go. Can you believe it, guys, after all this time? Oh, Someone has just started with a leaf blower. Talk about a reverse design. When you've got a pile of leaves, a woman would have designed a leaf version that captures the leaves so then you can put them on your compost or dispose of them ethically. No, by a man blowing it out into the street. I think they should be banned. I'm on a banning roll today. Okay, guys, now, in the next week, I've got a lot of collaborations coming up. And so I'll pin them to the comments because there's too many to go in here. But basically, I'll be on with Celtic Sheila, on with Deanne Shield Maiden. I think that one's with Linda G. And Andre's Astrology Alert, which is me with no cars and we have a political conversation. That's the format. All of those will be live. So that's your chance to chat with me live. So check that out in the pinned comments. Love you guys. Take care. Ciao.